All right, so today what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a minute of each exercise. So take the time, pace yourself. You don't have to keep going for the full minute, but we're gonna alternate strength and cardio. So let's take it out and in. And I know a lot of you come to the Tuesday strength class. All right, so I know a lot of you come to the Tuesday strength class. Let's lift our heels. Tomorrow, we're gonna do normal things. We're just gonna do some strength training. We're just gonna change the format a little. So we're gonna do 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, each exercise twice. So that's tomorrow. Heels front. So today, we're just gonna do a minute of each exercise. So, cardio strength, alternating. We've done this one before and you guys said you liked it, so. Toes to the side, reaching up. Just giving you a heads up that there's nothing funky for tomorrow. All right, toes to the back, we're gonna press. Belly buttons in, squeezing the shoulder blades, reaching. So think long and lean. Four, three, two, all right, reach for the inner thigh, reach for the ankle. So we're kicking that soccer ball. Four, three, two, we're gonna kick the soccer ball in the back, we're gonna look. Now you can go slower, you can take out the look. We're just adding in a little head turning today. And I'm turning the wrong way. Four, <laughs> three, all right. To the front, knees, elbow to knee. Little diagonal rotation, doesn't have to be big. Three, two, hamstring curls. So heel kick to the back, squeezing the shoulder blades together. Open up that chest, four. Three, two, all right, little hip hinges. This is our short stop squat position. It's really little. Don't even worry about moving your upper body. Just think about pushing those hips back like you're getting ready to catch a ball. Two, one squat, here we go. One forward step, one squat, step. So we're combining, we're doing our little squat, our little hip hinge, and our forward step and reach. So catch the ball. Now we're gonna get ready to tag someone out. Catch the ball, tag them out, catch. All right, now we're just gonna step and we're gonna throw the ball, throw the ball. We're going for sports today. So we're taking that step, and then we're gonna throw the ball. Three, two, now we're gonna step back and we're gonna catch the ball, catch, catch. Four, three, two, arms are gonna come up, we're gonna celebrate, yes. Same moves, make them a little bit more fun, right? Four. Three, two, all right, easy jog, nothing fancy. Easy jog, you can do some high knee marching. That's perfectly okay too. We're just kind of warming up the body a little bit. Four, three, jumping jacks, here we go. Low impact or high, you decide. I'm keeping it a little low today. Pretty sure my roommate is still home. I don't want to drive him nuts. Four, three, heel kick jog. Here we go, heel jog. Hamstring curls is another option. Going a little quicker or just making the movement bigger. Four, three, skaters, side side. Side step, little tap behind. Eight, seven, good, four. Three. All right, let's march it out. All right, we're gonna grab a quick drink of water, and then we're gonna get started. So our first exercise is gonna be a reverse lunge with a lateral raise, and we're gonna alternate those lunges. So 
So grab weights you feel comfortable doing a side raise with. So again, one minute of each exercise. And you have about 15 seconds to transition. We've got nine exercises. We're gonna go through them all, and then we'll see. Maybe we'll go through them again. So reverse lunge, lateral raise in three, two, and one. Time is on. So you just step back and do a raise. Now this is option one, is you alternate. You step back and you do that wonderful raise. Now this is a minute. This is really our only shoulder exercise though. So you're all good. Now option, do the reverse lunge and the lateral raise at the same time. Now you can do both arms at the same time, especially if your weight is really light, like you just have um, water bottles or something that weighs about a pound. But especially when you start getting a little heavier, start trying to do one arm at a time. Reason being, what happens? We tend to do this. We kind of start to cheat. You get a little core work if you're doing this. So unilateral, one arm at a time, yeah, gets you a little bit of core work in there. Gets those obliques moving, keeping your core stable. Good, set it down. We're gonna do standing oblique crunches. We're gonna alternate knee to elbow, right, left. So this is your exercise. And your time is on. So I want a nice, good exhale. I really want you to think about using that tummy. We can do this all day long and not get our core. Little rotation, exhale. Slow and steady, little tightening of the tummy. I don't expect knees to, knees to touch the elbows. Can't talk today. I want you to think about bringing this rib and this hip closer together. So nice and steady, just good rotation. Good, you have about 20 seconds to go. We're gonna control it. So we have a strength exercise, we have a core exercise, and then we have a cardio exercise next. 10 more seconds. We're gonna rest, and then we're gonna go for our jumping jacks. Two and one, good. Short rest, jumping jacks is our next exercise. So low impact or high, plenty of rest. Good, five, four, three, two, one. Good, jumping jacks, low impact or high. This is your low impact option. This is your high impact option. Now, if you really wanna do the high impact, but you find yourself getting really tired, go ahead and drop it down a little bit. There's nothing wrong with it. Alternate between the two, do four low and then four high. Get a little bit of intervals within the interval. Good, you're about halfway through. So just keep going. And the goal is to try to keep going for the full minute if you can. If that means bringing your arms down and clapping in front, that works too. Good, 10 more seconds and we're gonna do a plie to a calf raise. Four, three, two, one, good. Take the legs nice and wide, toes are turned out. Channel your inner ballerina, down, up, heel lift. Down, up, heel. So you've got three more seconds technically for your rest if you need it. Time is on, down, up, lift. Now you can make it a little smoother, down and lift down and lift. Option two is to plie, do the lift and then come back up. This is a little bit harder, a little more balance requirement. Down, lift, bring it back up. But again, you always have this as an option. Now if you notice that your toes are out, but your knees are coming in, turn your toes in. Wherever your toes go, your knees need to follow. Nice and tall, we're ballerinas, yes? So our back is against a wall, getting a little inner thigh work. 15 seconds to go and we're gonna do wood chops 
with a weight if you have that option. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, grab a weight. I'm going to grab my stability ball, or my stability ball, my medicine ball. Grab a weight, hold it on the end. We're gonna do wood chops. We've got our ax, we're gonna chop wood. Ax, chop wood. Good, your time is on. Now option is to do this without a weight. It's perfectly okay. We sometimes do this in the warm up. Now I do want you to make sure when we chop wood, we don't come all the way down this way, right? Because what happens? We hit our head against that piece of wood. So remember, you've got the big block, you've got the piece of wood on top of it. Bring it up, take it down. So part of the workout is controlling that weight, controlling that ax. You want to be precise. It's just a little short stop squat, a little hinge. Sitting back, I'm bringing the weight about to my knees. That's as far down as I'm going. Good, about 12 more seconds. And you have the option of either doing burpees or triple extensions. We just wanna get our heart rate up a little. Four, three, two, one. Good, triple extension. Option one, reach for the floor, come up on your tiptoes. We're tossing the leaves, yes? Option two, is that wonderful burpee. You take it down, you step it back, and you bring it back up. Your time is on. Now, if you've got a chair, hands on the chair, step back into that burpee. Step forwards and come up tall. So, wall table chair, or you can just do your wonderful triple extensions. You all know there's options for burpees. You can even go down, tap one leg back, and bring it up and reach. Yes? Just want to get your heart rate up. Get that breathing up. So if you want to do the triple extension, yes. If you want to do this, yes. We're just getting our heart rates up. We're opening up the body, practicing, down on the floor. Option also to step back and hop forward. We keep our core tight, our belly button's pulled in. You can do this hands on the chair. Now make sure we're not reaching back into a down dog. Good, let's bring it up. Grab weights, deadlifts to rows. So a little heavier. So we're gonna go back, row, in, up. Hips, row, down, squeeze. So knees are soft, belly button is in, spine is neutral, squeeze, back, and then come up. So this is a combination deadlift with a row. We just hold it in that down position for just a moment. Our weight is in our heels, our feet are still flat on the floor. Notice I'm at an angle, 30 to 45 degrees. Knees are soft, but it's not quite a squat. For a lot of you, when I have you do squats, you do these, and that works too. There's just the difference. So this one, a little bit more upper body forward fold, sitting into the hips. Good, bring it up. We're going to go into a plie stance. So a wide squat, turn the toes out, hold the plie, down, bring it up. We're gonna reach, there's an itch on the back of your calf. Reach, reach, and reach. So we're nice and tall, we've got a very narrow space to work. We're trying to squeeze between two places. So we wanna be down in that plie if we can, or squeeze the glutes together and reach hands up and down. We want to try not to turn forward or turn backwards or stick the hips out. We're squeezing those cheeks together. Reach. Good. About 20 more seconds and we're going to do skaters and then we're going to rest and we're going to do round two. 
So squeeze the glutes together, press those knees out, whatever position you're in, like you're trying to use your feet to open a jar. Three, two, and one. Good, 10 second rest, or 15 second actually. Next exercise is gonna be skaters. So we're gonna do our skaters. Four, three, two, one. Good, skaters. So a nice good step, a little tap cross behind, reaching to the front. Option is to add a little hop, a hop and a pause. Option, don't touch that toe down in the back. Option, reach for the floor. When we do skaters, we don't wanna turn our bodies like this. Because if you were going down the ice skating rink, you'd be swerving all over the place. So you've got your target, you've got your destination. You're moving forwards. Good, 20 seconds to go and we're gonna rest. So reaching arms, figure eight arms, whatever gets your heart rate and your breathing up a little bit. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. March it out, walk it out, grab a quick drink of water. So this is your recovery, this is your rest. So time to get your heart rate and your breathing back down again. And then we'll get ready for round two. So now that we've gone through an entire round already, you can decide, wait, are you gonna go up? Are you gonna go down? Are you gonna stay where they're at? If you didn't use weights before, are you gonna add some in? Lots of options. So keep those feet moving. Nice deep breaths. All right, everybody, let's go ahead, grab our weights, get ready for round two. We're gonna start with our reverse lunge to our lateral raise. Now an option for you as well, instead of doing a lateral raise, you can do an overhead press. It's just an option if it's there and you wanna use it. All right, here we go. Four, three, two, one, good. So you have a minute, reverse lunge with a lateral raise or a reverse lunge with an overhead press. You decide what you wanna do. It's up to you, your choice. If your shoulders are feeling okay doing the overheads, go for it. You're working your shoulders just in a different way. If they prefer the lateral raise, you're still getting your shoulders in. Plus, you're gonna get a little core in here as well. Yeah? It's all good. Good, about 25 seconds to go. Nice big step on those reverse lunges. You don't have to go to the floor, but you wanna keep those knees over your shoelaces in front. Drop that back knee towards the floor. Shoulders stay over your hips. Good, all right. Standing oblique crunches. So this is our elbows to knees. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Keep those elbows out the entire time. Here we go, we're gonna rotate. So notice when I do these ones, I don't bring my hands in and let my elbows get close together. I squeeze my shoulder blades together the entire time so I know it's just my torso that's doing the movement. That's a good way to make sure it's your abs. Another option is here. So if arms are tired or you're not sure, little rotation doesn't have to be big. It's not just shoulders to the knees. It's also you're meeting in the middle. Working those obliques. If you press your fingers into your tummy, 
you should feel those muscles get tight when you breathe out and when you do your rotation. And yes, you might have to push to the lower layers of the fluff, but it's there. Good, all right, short rest. Jumping jacks, next exercise. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, jumping jacks, lower high. So pick one, try to keep going as long as you can before switching to the other. See if I can go a full minute. It's been a while since I've done full jumping jacks. Good, you're halfway. A minute is a long time for cardio, isn't it? Sheesh, what was I thinking? So remember, just keep going, and if that means doing this, you're golden. 15 seconds to go, you're almost done. We're gonna do those plies to the calf raise. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Awesome job, everybody. Plie to calf raise, now that we've gotten our calves tired. I'm gonna be crazy and I'm gonna hold on to some weights. You don't have to. It's all good. Nice and tall. Down, up lift the heels so your toes can be more forwards and that's okay you're still sitting the hips back right so if your feet were in and you were doing this and you wanted to do the heels when you were down they call this a Hindu squat because I don't know if you've seen some of the yogis they can do this and they go way low that's not me so pick your option. I'm doing the plie, holding it at the bottom, and doing a calf raise, trying not to fall over. But you can always go down and up with that heel lift. We're adding in balance when we do this. 10 more seconds. Down, lift. Four, three, two, one. Good weighted wood choppers. Wood choppers with or without the weights, truthfully. But try a weight. Make sure you have a secure grip on that weight, yes? Two, one, good. Up and down. So for those of you that have done the boot camp with me outside, you remember the ball that doesn't bounce? Yeah, I want you to pretend, just be careful, that that's the ball that you're using but you don't let go of it. So down and up. When we come up, we do not jerk ourselves back and try to get our ball way over our head. Up in front, down to the floor. So we use our arms, we use our total body when we do wood chops. Our arms, our glutes, our abs. So if that means that your weight stops, eyeball height, you're good, right? Yes, 10 seconds. Gotta keep a hold of that weight. Good, set it down. All right, we have our burpees, our half burpees, our triple extensions, whatever it is that you would like to do today. Three, two, one. So triple extension, squat down. Celebrate by chucking the leaves. Although if you've got pets, maybe don't do this. Not yet. Squat and up. Option, down, back, in and up. Alternating. This is our half burpee. You think about reaching for the floor and you come back up. You can find that chair. Hands on the chair, step back into a plank, hop forward into a burpee. Yes? So the goal is just to get your heart rate up. Get your breathing up a little bit. Do what you can. Always, always, always do what you can. 
keep going. Good, you've got about 10 more seconds to go. So nice, good position. Then we're gonna grab weights for our deadlift to row. Good, last one. Awesome. All right, deadlift to row. Usually you can go a little heavier if you have that as an option. Four, three, two, one. Good, so forward, row, down, squeeze. So this is all in our hips. The only thing that's really moving is our hips. We fold, we push those hips back, and we're folding at the crease, but our posture still stays nice and tall, so we don't want to hunker over. As you can guess, this is not good for your low back. And then you're relying on your low back to do everything. We want to use those glutes, use those hamstrings. So don't let the back be the bully and take over. It needs help. So we're getting the back side of our body. Hamstrings, glutes, upper back. 12 seconds to go. Then we're gonna do our oblique crunches where we just reach for the calf. Three, two, and one. Good, bring it up. All right. We're gonna take that stance wide. Sink down into that little plie. Reach down, up, down. You've got five more seconds. Rest if you need it. Now if you want, I sometimes like to do this. I'm still squeezing my shoulder blades together and I'm just doing a crunch like I'm squishing an orange between my ribs and my shoulders. And here's another test. You can take it down and actually try to squish your hand. Squish. This is your superpower posture, right? Down. Make it harder. Sink into that plie. You're over halfway. So I'm reaching behind my leg, keeping my knees pressed out. It helps me focus on staying tall and not allowing myself to turn. 10 seconds, and we're gonna do our skaters. Three, two, and one. Good, carefully bring it up. Next exercise is our skaters, whatever you wanna do. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, side tap, reaching forward. Nice, good skaters. So this is option one. Just sidestep with that little tap behind. Option two is to add that little hop. Option three is to try to sink down a little farther. Your arms can reach, your arms can figure skate. You're halfway through, so keep going strong. This is your last exercise before we take a break, and then we go down and do a few exercises on the floor. Or you stay up if you need to, yeah? 15 seconds to go. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, good. All right, walk it around, step touch. Grab a drink, yes and yes. All right, so keep moving. We have a break. Then we're gonna head down to the floor. We have four exercises. We're gonna do tricep kickbacks. Option one is bird dog position. Option two, if it's a little harder, is a plank position. Option three is just that half kneeling or kneeling stance, yes? So if you're upright, you'll just sit in a chair or stay up. Second exercise is reverse crunches. So that's where we do the pelvic tuck. If you're in a chair, you hold on to the chair and you bring both knees up. 
And then we're gonna do chest presses or push-ups. If you're in a chair, you grab weights, do your chest presses, yes? And then option, our last exercise is fire hydrants or side leg lifts, okay? So I want you to decide if you're gonna be up or down. You're gonna head down to the floor. So you will need weights for kickbacks and for chest presses. We are going to do 30 seconds of each exercise, 10 seconds rest, just enough time to transition to the next exercise. Because some of these we're gonna do right, and then we're gonna do left. All right, so we're gonna get ready. We're gonna start with our tricep kickbacks. So just 30 seconds. So option one is just to sit or to stay standing and do your kickback. Option two is what I'm doing now. Option three is here. Option four is in a plank position. All right, 30 seconds, your time is on. So pick which one you want to do, nice and steady. There's nothing wrong with holding a nice good bird dog or doing your half kneeling stance. So listen to your body. If your wrists don't like being, having a lot of pressure on them, come up into your half kneeling. I rest my tummy and my chest on my thighs when I do this one. Five more seconds and we're gonna switch sides. Good, let's go ahead and prep. We're gonna switch, other side, same position, same exercise, different arm. All right, time is on. Nice, good kickback. So if you are doing a bird dog or a semi-plank like I am, just make sure we don't have our butt in the air or we're sitting back or that our arm is way out in front of our shoulder. Hips are level. 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. On your backs, reverse crunches and have your weights ready for your chest presses. Good, so option one, reverse crunch. Tuck the pelvis and release. Exhale and release. Option two is you can actually tuck and then do a little release. But it is controlled. We don't want to flop back down onto the floor. Three, two, one. Good. Grab your weights, chest presses, or you can flip over for push-ups if you would like to. Good, time is on. And then after this, we're just going to go for our clamshells or our side leg lifts. Now, if you're doing chest presses and your arms are out, make sure your elbows are not in line with your shoulders. They're down a little bit. So a little bit down at an angle. So think arrow instead of the letter T. Good, let's go ahead and switch fire hydrants, or you can just lie on your side and do your side leg lift. So this is an option, your time is on. So for those of you that wanna do fire hydrants, hands and knees, leg lift out to the side. Ten more seconds and we're going to do the other leg. Four, three, two, one. Good. Ten second rest. You can roll over if you're doing the lying side leg lift or just prepare. Three, two, one. Good. Side leg lift. Fire hydrants. Side lying. You can even do clam shells. If that's an exercise that you've been to PT for and they gave it to you, you can also do clamshells. We're working that outer thigh 
and we're working that side glute. 10 more seconds, short rest, and then we're gonna quick do the other side, one, or do everything else one more time. Three, two, one, good. Short rest, give those hands a break. We're gonna repeat those exercises starting with our tricep kickbacks. So decide if you wanna be half kneeling, bird dog position, or plank, or if you're upright sitting in a chair. All right, you have 30 seconds, so get ready. Three, two, one, good. So nice, good bird dog position. Notice my upper arm is in line with my torso. So even if you're in the half kneeling stance, your upper arm is in line with your torso and you reach back like you're trying to reach towards the heel of your foot. If you're in a bird dog or a plank, you're trying to get your arm parallel to the floor. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, we're gonna switch. So get ready to go to the other side. Four, three, two, one. Good, so arm is up, kicking back. Squeezing the glutes, tummy is in, hips are level. You've got that dinner plate on your back, yes? Shoulders are away from your ears. Ten seconds to go. And then we're gonna flip over for our reverse crunches. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, flipping over, reverse crunches. Three, two, one. Good, reverse crunch. Now if you're doing the one where your feet stay on the floor, the trick with this one is to make sure that you're not turning it into a glute bridge. We don't want to push through the heels and squeeze the glutes. We want to actually keep our heels and our glutes relaxed. So that's if your feet are on the floor. Otherwise, gentle crunch, bringing your knees in towards the chest, lifting your hips just a little bit off the floor, and then just bringing them back down. Good. All right, chest presses. So grab those weights. Time is on. You can alternate or you can do both arms at the same time. I like to do palms facing each other and elbows close to the body, but you can take the arms out at an angle, but not allowing your elbow to be fully in line with your shoulder. Your elbow should be lower than your shoulder. Last one, good. Fire hydrants, clamshells, side leg lift, your choice. I'm just gonna do the side leg lift today for this round. Good, leg up and down. When we do this one, if your leg is straight, we wanna make sure that we're not bringing it up in front. Straight line, so imagine your heel was running up and down the wall behind you. So knees and toes are pointing forwards should feel this side glute right in the side of your leg. Three, two, one. Flipping it over, other side. Three, two, one. Good, lift and lower. This is your last exercise before we stretch. more seconds. Good. Let's go ahead and roll onto our backs. Knees bent, feet flat. Good. Let's take our arms out to the side. Knees bent, feet flat on the floor. Arms out, palms are up, trying to keep them parallel 
to the floor if you can. We're gonna rotate both knees to the right, left hand rotates palm down, and then we're gonna just rotate side to side. So rotation of the hand should come from your shoulder. Doesn't matter if it gets all the way palm down or all the way palm up. But your goal is to try to work on that internal and external rotation of your shoulder. Good, let's bring it into the center. Right leg is straight, left knee pull into the chest. We're gonna gently straighten our knee and bend our knee. Doesn't matter if it gets perfectly straight. We're just going until we feel a gentle tug. Good, let's take that leg up just a little, circle the ankle. And other direction. Good, let's cross that ankle over your opposite knee. And you have the option to keep the leg straight. You have the option to pull that right leg in. Good, and we're gonna do all that on the other side. So let's take our left leg straight, pull our right leg in. We're gonna gently bend and straighten that knee. This is a good one to do if you've got a towel that you can put behind your thigh, especially if your have, uh, hamstrings are really tight. You just put that towel around your thigh just to help hold it up. Or you can take a yoga strap and put it underneath your foot. Good, let's take it up a little bit and hold it, circle that ankle. And other direction. Good. Let's take that ankle, cross it over the other leg. Let the knee drift out to the side. Leg can stay straight. You can pull it in, have the foot flat on the floor, or you can also pull in on that left leg. We're just going to do our cat cow. So knees are a little bit wide for this one. Toes are pointing towards each other, a little froggy stance. Inhale, lift the chest, gentle arch of the back. Exhale, round the spine, tuck the hips, tuck the chin, push the floor away, and then gently sit back towards your heels. Good, one more time, come back up, hands and knees. Lift the chest, gentle arch of the back. Exhale, round the spine, sitting back. Good, go ahead and come up to half kneeling. If you need to come up to sitting or standing, please do, but take a moment. Figure out where the blood is going to go first. Tuck that toe under and back. We're gonna tuck our pelvis and gently push our front knee forward. Now, if anybody's got good balance, something to hold on to, or needs a little deeper stretch, you can always grab that back foot. But this one is definitely a little more of a challenge. Definitely gets a deeper stretch, especially in that quad. And we're gonna switch, go to the other side. Same thing. So nice and tall, we gotta tuck that pelvis. This is the important part. Gently push that knee forwards. And then if you need to, and you can, this is for my yogis and my really flexible people. Because this one's tricky to do. Just until you get a stretch. So depending on where you're tight, you may feel this more in the quad or you may feel this more 
in that hip. Good, let's set it down. We're gonna very carefully come to standing. If you need to stay on the floor for a moment, you're good to go. Good, nice good stretch of the chest. Ribs are tucked, so we don't wanna arch. We wanna keep that pelvis in. Good, arms up in front. Give yourself a nice good pat on the back. Good, we're gonna bring it down, reach both hands back, belly is still in, holding something behind you, ear to shoulder, and then to the other side. Good, one more. All right, let's bring it up, big breath in. And out. One more. All right. You're all done. 